It's classic Washington ice climbing. Here today, gone tomorrow. You gotta come out, take risks. You gotta go to know. We got up there and no ice. But it's just been too warm. I spend a ton of time every season just driving around trying to find stuff. And very rare you get the opportunity to have when you don't want a sled to get up here. So I, we'd give it a shot and struck out. So plan B, I guess. I've always been drawn to sports that test the limits of what people are capable of doing. And I've shot a lot of rock climbing, but ice climbing was always something that I had always dreamt of shooting. It's a seasonal sport. The ice changes day to day, and there's only a very few spots in the state where ice even develops. And so now we have to head to a different part of the state altogether. Sometimes it turns into a little bit of a scavenger hunt looking for climbable ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Adventure filmmaking is by nature an adventure. And there's a lot of things that are out of your control. And though you can have a pretty solid plan, conditions can change and send you in a completely different direction. When I do adventure photography and filmmaking, I use all kinds of lenses, but in a situation like this, it's really important that the lens is lightweight and compact and has a really wide focal range. So we're at Banks Lake, um, just north of the million dollar mile. So all along the cliff bands here in the basalt, there's layers of soil within that that fills up with water. And then they just kind of seep out of the rock themselves. And that's what's forming all the ice columns and daggers out there. Proudest column that we can see is called H202, 30 meters of ice. So we finally found ice. We did it, yeah. I'd like to get some wide shots of you leading it. And then if you could just take my rope up there and set an anchor for me, then uh, I'll come up. If you'll climb it again, I'll come up and get some close-ups with you up there. Yeah, definitely. Man, this is so beautiful. So a big piece of the planning was how do I get this shot? And number one, I need to have a rope to be working from. But in order to get the rope up there, Jake has to climb and set that rope. And then he needs to go back down and climb it again. And then he needs to climb it again for my wide shot. So not only was Jake the talent, but he also set my rigging. One of the main draws for me is just like the ephemeral nature of the ice. The ice climb could be fat and then falling down by the end of the day. There's a lot behind the scenes that has to happen before you can go in and do something like that safely. The first thing with extreme sports, it's all about the perspective. It's all about getting yourself into a situation or a position where you can shoot angles where it truly captures the experience of the activity. In this case, with ice climbing, getting on the ice with the climber, that's a perspective that very few people get to see. The second thing is that it's important to be prepared. In this case, I needed to feel comfortable ascending a frozen waterfall. There was several years of training at a gym doing this on solid surface and on rock before ice. The third thing is to feel comfortable with your gear. Everything needs to feel like it's second nature. From my crampons, to my harness, to my ropes, to the camera and lens that I choose. The last thing I want to do while up on the wall is change out a lens. The Tamron 18 to 300 literally gives me everything I need. Because when you're in situations like this, Every second counts. 
there's a limited window to get the shot. And remember most importantly, adventure photography and adventure filmmaking is a team sport. We invested a lot of time and energy trying to find the most iconic ice wall. Rode for miles and miles on snowmobiles. And we drove over 400 miles, but we got the shot that I envisioned. There's a lot of variables that are out of your control, and everything always takes longer than you think. But at the end of the day, it's all about collaboration. <laughs>